Come knocking at my door and we relive this dream once. Okay, so thank you for playing games with me and my voice. If you even just shout me out and like and subscribe, I'm going to be so grateful because I know that those notes were kind of flat, but they wasn't Ray J flat. You know what I'm saying? So this is your girl, J Essence journey with some more information. Thank you so much for my next question, which came from, oops, let me Google up. Um, before I do anything else, like I said, I dedicated myself for at least two weeks to see how you guys are doing on answering whatever questions you have. And I said that I would do a live because live is the easiest way for me to get on and I would knock it out. Also, live keeps me from procrastinating. And so um, where's my channel? So I have one question that basically is asking, I was trying to find out who it came from. Where's my comments? Um, but basically ask, hey, they looked at the last video and they were like, oh, the video that you gave about business was really on point and helpful. So Jay Essence, which bank would you recommend for doing business? And I'm going to start and preference this with everything is entertainment value only is my personal opinion. Please do your own research, your own understanding, learn what you need to learn, do what you need to do, figure it out. Um, not only on that, number two, um, your experience is your experience. My experience is my experience. And I am not an expert in this field. I am just going to tell you what I know. All right. So when you're coming to Rhonda for banking, number one, there is no bank I don't even think on the UK end, like, but there's no bank that you recognize stateside that that same bank entity is here in Rhonda to make life easier. So I can't tell you like, yo, go to Chase Bank, go to Fargo, go to Bank of America, and then you're easy to do transactions. That is not the case at all. Number two, there's a bunch of things in here. Number two, you need to know the rules and regulations of your own personal bank um, in the state. So you know about transferring, transfer rates, um, um, and transfer regulations. There are some that will not let you transfer a large amount of money if you have a large amount of money over 10000 if you're not there for personally. So you need to make sure you're doing that. Number three, while I say that with banks, you better check your credit union. Credit union by far have the strictest and uh, most regulations and rules for good reasons because they're great credit unions. But you need to make sure what that looks like internationally and if it's able to do what you need to do. Make sure you follow all of the rules of your banks. Make sure you keep things up. Make sure you have somebody who you can, can talk to um, one on one, not just like, hey, walk in and get your regular customer, but like get your account manager or something, somebody who knows you, who knows you're out of the country, who knows if there's a problem or anything else like that. Because if there's anything like suspected activity, you might get flagged for fraud or whatever. You have somebody that you can talk to um, distinctly and make sure that things happen. So that is all on the state side end. Um, get your money right. Get your money right. Now I'm going to say like B is ways to get your money here. So you can use World Remit. You can use Western Union. You can use regular transfer. I majority use WISE, love WISE. Um, and you can use like your regular bank transfer. Um, each of those have different rates. You can use... Um, so PayPal has this new thing. Like I just had somebody transfer money to me. Um, so PayPal can transfer money to your Momo. It takes about less than 24 hours. Um, baby, them currency hits are hard, but that's not what this video is about. We're talking about banking. So we're going to drive all through and we're in Rhonda. We're going to talk about banks. Um, matter of fact, let me do this real quick. I'm going to let you hit me up at J, my cousin connection. And I'm going to shout out real quick. Hey, Miss Allie Talkman. Hey, M.A. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. All right, banks. So first and foremost, just going down my list. Number one, My Cousin Connection already has an article, a full article that reviewed all of the major banks and um, also not only with the major banks, some of the best saving programs. I'm going to see if I can actually open that up in my other browser because we will actually go through it and then I'm going to give you of course my personal opinion 
Um, the banks that are here are Bank of Kigali, um, INM Bank, don't even know what INM stands for, INM Bank, um, KCB Bank, which is going to be a little weird to pay attention to because either BPR bought over KCB or KCB bought over BPR. So you might see BPR Bank, um, but you might see KCB. The color scheme is exactly the same. So you have that. You have Excess Bank. I've heard things about Equity Bank, um, Echo Bank, which is the Pan-African Bank, and um, the other ones are more local. Um, there's one called Konji Bank, and um, let me see if I know how to share this. Let me go through the list real quick. How do I share my screen? Ah, you hit the button that says share your screen. Actually, I'm going to share screen. All right. So I'm going to go down this real quick. Um, because I'm trying to give you guys thorough information. You know how I am about that information. So here's different banking options in Rwanda. This is my cousin connection. Please join. Um, we really would love your subscription. You can even join just as a $5 member. And we can, um, that helps us run and function our website, keep everything up to date and pay salaries. Uh, so Bank of Kigali is the one I just said, Bank um, BK Group PCL. Um, I'm going to go through these. Equity Bank. Uh, Guaranteed Trust Bank, that's what I couldn't remember. Guaranteed Trust Bank, INM Bank, Code G Bank, I hope I'm saying that's possible. Um, Echo Bank, B, is this BPR? BPR, which is also KCB, they have a good different color scheme. Access Bank, Your Way Go Bank. Oh, and KCB, KCB and BPR, I think they're merging. All right, so those are your basic banks. I went fast, but I'm going to break it down. Just to open up your bank account. So I'm still not answering the question of best bank to do for business. But this is your basics. Um, bank of Kigali is like the easiest to open your account from, from personal experience. I heard that Bank of Kigali and I heard good things about Equity Bank for opening up. You could still open up as a, um, you didn't have to have your visa um, to open. And also, I believe Access Bank, you did not have to have your visa to open. Um Passport ID, two passport photos, 10,000, um, that equity bank, same thing, ID, um, and all that. And then the other one I'm going to go here was, where's access? Access bank, passport permit, and a form. Okay. Okay. So going back to the other ones, like, where was I? GT Bank. I have not really worked with GT Bank um, well enough to know a lot about that. So I can't have a personal i &M. You had to have a work contract or you had to have a different type of visa. They would not take you on a tourist visa. They, you had to have some type of proof of your visa or your resident permit, not tourist. Um, Echo Bank. You can open without having um, work permit anything. It's pretty um, easy to open. I'm going to do a disclaimer here when I say um, all of this service is available with My Cousin Connection. Can you see? Oh, I think that's because I came back. Okay. Okay, so all of this is available My Cousin Connection if you don't want to go through this. My Cousin Connection will go side by side with you to the banks and fill out all paperwork. We have all the information here before you go so you don't get tripped up. They might ask you for like your parents' passport information um, when the banks ask that or just different things. So My Cousin Connection actually is there to be with you during the banking process and we feed you. And we feed you. Come on now, you ain't getting that at no bank um, because the process can be long. The other piece I want to show on this before I answer the question regarding business from my own personal experiences, if I go back, um, you've got a lot to learn about loans. And where is, Gordon Ains, how do you check? What, I'm going to have to get on, where is the savings? Um, we broke down savings. If not, that means we need to publish it because that means it's in review. Open a savings account in Rhonda. So 
We looked at savings options because um, savings look a little different. Koji Bank, a foreigner can open a savings account. They have three different type. Your interest rate of 30% annually is 30% of what you have in. And um, you obligated to open a current account to be able to withdraw. Echo Bank, you can open a savings account. Um, must have 15K, which is $15, Rhonda. 5% per year as an interest rate divided into three months. Withdraw once a three months. Um, and then you're eligible to withdraw $5 million and it must be in Rwanda and Franks. I am Bank, your savings account. Um, you have three different types of saving accounts. You have um, the Easy Smart Saver. They have a lot of information about saving account, Lord. Um, basic one is if you put in 15K to 500K. Remember, K is Rwanda and Franks. So this is basically $15 to 500 USD. You can get an interest rate of 4%. 500 USD to 5,000, you can get an interest rate of 5%. And then $10,000 and above is an interest rate of 6%. You're able to withdraw once a month. They provide you interest annually. If you withdraw before that time, you get 2% of charges, um, $50 as initial deposit, all of that. Now, if you keep your time there longer, if you basically say, I'm going to commit to something longer, um, you can gain an interest rate of 7.75, 8.25, 8.75. And then you have your flex term deposit. Um, you have to be precise for how long you need your savings account to be. And these are your percent rates there, which is an 8%. If your account is for a year or more, two years, um, it'd be 8.25 and 9% uh, if it's three years. I think I kind of do that one. Woo, all right, that's a lot. Access Bank, you can have different savings account. Women's savings account is 6%. Individual savings account, 4%. Access Advantage is 4%. Youth is 4%. Four to six percent. Your interest rate is annually, and then you have equity. Um, equity is a regular savings account, no interest rate. The other one is broke. Why would you call a savings account broke? I have no idea. But um, ten dollars you need to make a monthly deposit. It is a four percent interest rate per year. Bank of Kigali savings account is a basically a five percent. Um, right. So I wanted to break down just the differences you have with the banks. And then I'm now going to go in and answer the question. If I know how to remove this. There we go. Wait, hit remove. Put me back on the screen. There we go. With the gangster me. OK, so I will be transparent as possible because I am not doing any advertising for anybody. Um, so. I have worked with i and M. I have worked with Bank of Kigali. I have worked with Echo Bank. I have worked with KCB. Um, the other banks I have not worked with, I am eyeballing another bank only because I do want to get into a good savings program. So I really know that probably after September, I'm going to be eyeballing um, a better savings account program. Um, so I can actually be occurring um, interest. You do want to go to any bank and truly learn like the fine print. The fine print is not what we're used to, but you can turn around and gain some serious interest rates um, if you put in in large stacks of money in different banks. So then it comes to my individual experience, like, like Bank of Kigali for me, Bank of Kigali, like yes, um, is pretty much your most popular bank. It is the official bank of Rwanda. Um, they have technically won awards, um, I guess, for customer service and all that other stuff. And then um, the first thing I would say is because they are so popular, it is it's efficient once you get your account to be able to work through Bank of Kigali. I can literally do everything I want to do with Bank of Kigali on my app. Transfer money, move things, all kinds of stuff. And Bank of, because Bank of Kigali is popular, it's very easy because you can use it with the Momo system. You can use it almost each and everywhere. You can always find a Bank of Kigali bank. You can make your deposits. You can do all that. It is very easy to navigate through Bank of Kigali. The downside of Bank of Kigali is because it is the most popular bank. 
there are sometimes them lines be looking like Walmart lines. And sometimes like you just going to be like, I don't need to pull no money today. Um, real quick. So, you know, ATMs are very easy to use here. But I would say that the biggest issue that I have always kind of seen with Bank of Kigali is like there is always. No, there's not always a line. Like once you learn like Saturdays to me, Saturday mornings, because ain't nobody waking up at 8 a.m. Like Saturday mornings is not really a line. That's like when I go. And um, like the first month hit, it's a wrap later. It's a wrap like that week um, before the first, because everybody gets paid like during that time. And the three days afterwards, Baker Kigali is um, very busy, but it has been easy to really, really work with them. And I actually had, um, I've had some problems. Everybody has some problems. Like I had a transfer go missing and I was able to call somebody and they did an, like an immediate investigation and I had my money like in 24 hours. Like they found out exactly what happened. Um, it wasn't a lot of running around and um, their loan system also is pretty dry and forward. Like you, you, like all that stuff. So those are the informations that I've dealt with with them. And um, like I said, um, great experience. Echo Bank um, is the Pan-African Bank. Um, my experience with Echo Bank, I, I know where I go. Like if I go to this one branch, I'm good. And not that I go to a different other branches. It's just I like that branch. It's comfortable. They actually know me. I will say that Echo Bank, um, if they, so that's it. Um, Echo Bank, if there are bylaws and everything, what they're supposed to do, have a really good idea of what it's supposed to be, to be able to be Pan-African. I'm just really hopeful that they start really doing it. Um, I really think that Echo Bank has a really great chance of being a great bank. Um, they're just, <sighs> just missing the ball on some things. So one of the downfalls of Echo Bank for me is they don't return calls. Um, and, and this is kind of sad because like the work that I've had with their customer, like the person who you see at the counter has been great, but it's the other person or people calling, but like, it's just been really, I'll be really praying for them on their customer service or like return or information. Um, I feel like they dropped the ball, um, on, um, you know, getting some people in, but I will say that if you want to look at what we do with my cousin connection, um, the number of bank openings we do at Echo Bank and the number of bank openings we do at Bank of Kigali are like side by side. Um, so um, those are pretty much like here too. And then I opened up Echo Bank for business and personal. And I will say um, they technically lost my transfer twice. This is one reason why they're not number one on my list. But I was able because like I got the person's personal information, so I was able to track it down. And it took me um, at the most the first time it took me 24 hours. The second time it took me two to three days, but they saw it and knew it. It just I would say the system. They said I put in the wrong account number, but I didn't. But um, that's it. So the pros is Echo Bank really just has a great idea of what it should be. And then just the cons, I would say, is communication. Um, okay, I've worked with IDM Bank. Um, IDM Bank was just kind of like for me an accidental account opening. They were one of the most thorough people in creating, or I mean, having to create an account. And the creation of account was really great customer service. I was really, really pleased. I have worked with IM Bank in a different arena, and I cannot recommend them for that. Like, it was very infuriating, frustrating. I felt like I was constantly calling. Um, constantly um i'll just be honest with you i was looking at trying to get a home loan um and that process was infuriating that i'll be honest with you that process is still infuriating um there was just a lot of having to call like one time um the person like i texted be like hey we're here da, 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 didn't respond did not respond but i was there we filled out the paperwork me and my mom went to go eat lunch guess was having lunch and I was just like looking at my phone the whole time, like, man. So it goes back to, I think, that Western approach to customer care. And so um, I just felt that I wasn't cared about at i &M. And that one was kind of like, uh. Now, the last one I worked with is KCB. KCB was the one I could not get the KCB account until I had my permit or my visa. 
Um, for me, KCB has been by and far the best bank to work with for me. Um, yeah, um, but I'm going to sit here and say, like, like I said, I do a lot with Bank of Kigali. I do a lot with Echo Bank, but I do a lot with KCB. And so actually KCB is the one that gets my um, main checks and everything else like that. I'm trying to make sure I think their transfer rate for wires coming in is the least expensive option. Like the last time I got my check, I was like, yo, I think y'all went to got $10. Like shout outs to you. Um, I think because KCB is technically a Kenyan bank that they understand the foreign aspect of currency and money. So it's a little bit easier to work with. Um, I like, I have not had a negative experience with the bank. Like um, I've gotten text numbers for people to be like, Hey, what's at me. And they responded back within 24 hours. Uh, I have lost my, that's the only thing I would say. That's my, the bad thing for me with KCB is that like, if you forget your passcode, you got to go in and do a whole reboot and restart. It ain't just no forgot password. Like, dude, no, I take that back. Maybe it was me because I think I forgot both my passcodes. It was just a mess. Um, and then um, at this time, which I think is my fault, not anybody else's fault, is, is I don't know how to transfer between currencies on the app or on the bank. And I feel like I have to go in to transfer. So like if I have a USD account versus a Rwandan franc account, I can't just go in the app and transfer. Um, I haven't found the way to do that. Um, it has to be me going into the bank. But I actually like them. All they need is snacks. If they had snacks, I'd be fine. But there's a little snack place upstairs. So I like them. Um, and so all of this stuff. So that is my personal experience. Remember, this is personal. So when it comes to business, um, the only downside, that's the other downside I have with KCB, is that KCB transfers. Um, like if I'm trying to transfer to somebody else's account here in Rhonda, KCB transfers have taken the longest. Um, it take up to three days and a lot of people are not that patient to wait for their money. Um, so on a business tip, that was frustration. On the business tip, Working on business, Bank of Kigali by far was the easiest because everybody has that. And what people don't realize here is getting wire transfers is second nature. Like if I order something, um, like if I order um, a, a couch to be made or something like that, um, people be like, okay, put the money in my wire. Like already my line sister's coming and we had to pay for the tourist guy and agency. And that is... Um, I'm about to answer your question. And that is like, I literally had to just transfer into his account. So transferring account to account is a really, really big deal here. And so Bank of Kigali can get that transfer done, especially if they have a Bank of Kigali account, like that transfer isn't under an hour, like it hits, people see it. Um, but when they don't, it, you get more time. So that's the that was the downside of that. When I use my KCB for wire transfers, like I would have people calling me like, yo, um, you said you transferred it. So what I would have to do is take like the transfer slip and like print it out to PDF and show it to them like the money is coming. And then I would say, well, hit me up in like four days if, and I can trace it down. OK, uh, let me say hello to everybody. Um, what is this? What is this? I hear about four hour wait times for in bank transactions. Hmm. Yeah. OK. Um. Huh. Yeah, <laughs> I wish I could be like, girl, what are they lying? Um, so I'm going to sit here and say, I do feel like the four hour wait time is a bit exaggerated. Um, the four hour wait time is more so for setting up your accounts. For setting up your accounts, like the four hour wait time is more so for setting up accounts. Um. Yeah. Now the in bank transactions. Um, all right. So let me break that down. OK, so number one, I would say you really need to know what you're going to your bank for. Like, can you just withdraw the money out the ATM? Like I learned that, like just withdraw the money out the ATM or if you're going to withdraw. Oh, OK. So here's the headaches that I'm going to tell you. You want to withdraw. um like big, big amounts, like going in quickly and just be like, I'm going to draw on $60 stuff. No, 
It ain't worth it. It is not worth it. Number two, I will say the frustrating thing is I've never had to be around like this is the Western thing. Like in the Western thing, if I don't have my account number, they just take my ID and look it up. Out here, have your account number. Have your account number. If not, you're going to three different stations for your account number. It's crazy. Um, yeah, I can't I can't tell you, like, I'm not going to say four hours. I'm going to say like an hour, an hour for some banks. Now, I'll be honest with you, like, this is my personal story. Like, I'm going to have so many people like, really, why? Um, remember when I said I liked Echo Bank, but I only liked this one branch? I went to another branch. I actually got set up at another branch. And those transactions, I was sitting in um, Echo Bank for like an hour, um, waiting for the line to pass, waiting for all that to happen. I then found the other bank, I shot them out, the bank um, branch, which was the one in Kigali Heights, which I also shut out because I liked them. They was clean and I could get snacks. So I was like, bam, I'm going to get a snack. I'll go to the little bookstore, get me a little book, write notes. But they actually moved well, no, it's like, I want to say they moved faster, but they weren't as popular. So I have not had to spend a lot of time in there unless I was doing an account. Um, Bank of Kigali, yeah, unless you just learn the times. Um, i and &M, yeah. Like, I literally went to i and to do some stuff on Tuesday and just walked out. And I was like... Um, okay, let me figure this out. Can I I will probably go back to I and M next Tuesday, like at 8 a.m. Because it's like I'm trying to find like those times. And that's the thing, because I've been to I and M. Oh my gosh, I've come in, dude knew me, and we got through and I was finished like in 10, 15 minutes. All about the timing. All about the timing, dude. All about the timing. And then who's mine? I said Echo Bank. I said Mega Kigali. I said I and M. Oh, Casey Casey B. I'm not had to wait an hour. Once again, I feel like I'm known at that one and not known like privilege. It's known like, hey, girl. And so I'd be sitting there chilling. I love the seats. They got a little TV. Um, and then, um, but I have seen other KCBs that when I drive by, I was like, mm, I just know I'm not going there. I just know I'm not going there. So um, that's all I can say about the four hour in bank transactions. Yeah. Yeah. I would say, like, if you want to learn the game, like, you go to the bank at 8 a.m. Like, it's the same hustle um, you had to learn about with financial aid at the HBCU or, like, going to the bookstore. Yes. But that is the other reason. Let me give you the positive spin. That's the other reason why you're really looking for a bank where you can do majority of your banking on your app. Like, remember, I said Bank of Kigali, yes, was by far the longest wait times I've had, but I also was able, like I have gone three months not inside a Bank of Kigali because they have so much stuff that you can do on their app and on their website. Like you don't have to go in physically. So that's the other thing. So if you're looking for banks or whatever, you're trying to figure out how much you can do on their app or website because you don't have to go in if you have your currency, you know, if you have your wire exchange, things like that, you don't have to go in unless you're pulling large amounts of cash. And what you need to make sure you do, and this is for all the banks, is make sure as soon as they give you your card, you go back and tell them um, or like right there that you don't want to have a limitation on your withdrawals. Because that happened to me, like with Bank of Kigali on accident the first time that I went to go put my money at the ATM and I had a limit of $200. And I was like, you know, -uh, baby, no, no, no. But I had to actually go in and get it checked so they can up my limit. And that was the same thing with transfers and everything else like that. So the banking part is just being very detailed because that's the thing. Um, I probably should put on my cousin connection, like everything to talk, ask your bank, because when you have to go back, and stand in line for something simple like, why can't I, you know, take out multiple transactions or why can't I not wire more than $200? And so you stand in line for an hour just for them to be like, OK, dig through your papers and then check a box and be like, OK, you can go. You'd be like, whoo, my whole day got spent. Whoo, my whole day got spent. So um, that's the situation. OK, I hope that helped you.
because I'm about to go. Let me say my shout outs. Hello, Elder. Much love to you. Uh, what's the name? Guamaca. Hello, Guamaca. Um, like I said, you could go to the My Cousin Connection um, page. Let me go back where I said we've already done the details here. This is your savings account information here. I would really, really go into that one. And then we also did one where we already broke down the banks. And so this is just, like I said, let me say it one more time before anybody calls me from any location. This is my personal experience, my personal story, um, entertainment purposes only, if you want to say, but I'm not here to slatter, slatter, slander, slander, or anybody. I'm here to tell you basically what has happened to me and help you get information in regards to banking and what you want to do. All right. Peace out, everyone. Bye.